Hi, Carl here from Sufficient Hub, and today we are going to be talking about this plant here, and it is meadow sweet. Now, it's a wild edible, and it grows all over the place, but it predominantly I find it on roadsides, just on verges. You can see we're on a roadside here, and just on this verge, you can see it a mile away, especially this time of year. So it's it's early September, but right through. August and September is so easy to spot because so many of the umbellifers, the hogweeds and things like that, all the flowers have died back on the side of the road. We're seeing much less wild carrot. You do um, still see a fair amount of yarrow, I suppose, but it's got a different colour flower to all of those. It's a creamier colour, but because all those umbellifers are gone, it really stands out. So you can see on the other side of the road there, all those little light flowers that stand out from quite a distance, they're all going to be meadow sweet. We can actually take a walk down and show you. So you can spot them from quite a distance at this time of year. They are in flower all through summer and into autumn. But like I said, at this time of year, there's not a lot else that they're competing with for your visual attention while you're traveling. So they're really easy to spot. And we go back now to where we started, you'll see from quite some distance, you can spot them. So they're super easy to spot. One of the reasons I love them, I really enjoy looking at them is because they remind me of fireworks. So if you imagine a firework going up in the sky and you don't really see anything because it's dark and the background's dark and then it explodes, into like the first little explosion that you see and then it explodes into just this profusion of color and it's almost like a really really slow firework how the flowers come out i love that about it it's got a quite distinctive smell i absolutely love the smell it's really floral and like i say at this time of year it's really easy to spot and really easy to identify so what i suggest you do is you go out there and find some while it's in flower like this and become accustomed to the smell because the smell is one of the key identifiers that you can use the rest of the year when it's actually not in flower so even as a young plant without any flower it's still quite distinctive and easy to spot because in between the leaves it's got little leaflets can you see them here little tiny leaves that come out in between the pairs of leaves. You can actually see them nicely here. You see that little set of leaflets in between the leaves? So that's one of the key identifiers and that with the smell, which you do get from the leaves as well, just by crushing them, means you can't really have anything else. Now, in terms of uses, they actually, the flowers you can use for pretty much everything that you would use elderflowers for. So people make wine out of them. Um, so you basically take your elderflower wine recipe and use meadowsweet instead. It makes a beautiful sparkling wine. And a lot of people use them to make syrups and infuse flavors into things. So you can eat it. Some people like to eat it raw. Some people prefer it just to be used as a flavoring, but it is an abundant wild edible. And I personally, I love it. I love the plant. I just love everything about the plant. I love the smell of the plant. We do use it culinarily and it's really easy to identify. It used to be used as a way of making your house smell nice a long time ago. Another name for it is mead wort because people used to use it to flavor meads and things like that. So it's a super common, super easy to identify wild edible. And if you're just starting out in your foraging journey, it's definitely one to add on your list to learn because it's a really easy one to learn. So there you go, that's meadow sweet. If you find these videos valuable, there's several ways you can support them. The easiest of which is to press that like button and subscribe to our channel. Please do leave a comment down below. And you can also find the Self-Sufficient Hub podcast, which drops every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You can come and check us out on Facebook or you could just leave a comment down below and I will uh, get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you tomorrow.